Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm coming to you live on Friday morning, April 24. Uh, so let me know when you get on. That always makes me happy when I can see you. And um, I'm doing something different today and I'm actually going to get on while you're here. So then I can see your comments while I do things. Hello, Carrie. I'm glad that you're here. All right. I'm, I can see me. Oh, yeah. And I got to turn my volume off. <laughs> there I am. I'm gabbing. There. Now my volume's off. So, um,. So we have a couple of you on, but I only see Carrie that said hi so far. Just a sec. Sorry, this see this is the part why why I didn't want I haven't done this before is because I get distracted trying to find find my way here. So um so Carrie, did you share your I feel like you didn't share your your cards that you did with us. Um on Monday. Am I wrong? Or did I miss them? Um, what designer paper did you use? I don't remember if we talked about it already or not. So is everybody stamped out or just having a hard time finding me? <laughs> um, so today I am doing the mirror technique or mirror image technique. And I have an easy card planned and a more involved card. So, um, uh, the, <clears throat> so the first card is easy other than, I mean, the technique isn't hard, but um, other than the technique, it's a really easy card. Hi, Nancy. And Cheryl is here. Hello. Do you have your live all planned for later this afternoon? And Dina is here. Now everybody's popping up. Cheryl said good morning now. <clears throat> um, and Dina said good morning. So did everybody see the retired lists? And um, let's see, what else am I what else am I wanting to tell you about? I don't remember. I think I need to come you're all ready. Oh good, Cheryl. Good job. Um, nope, I was going to use starts with art and grant. Oh, that's right. I remember you telling me that now. I'm sorry. Um, oh, those will be fun cards, though. Um, I hope you get to it. It's, it's, um, yeah, it was a fun class to do. That's good. Um, so we have last chance products or our retired list that is. Um, it always amazes me how much that they get rid of to put in new stuff. Um, and sorry, I had a text come across and yes, yeah, seen the retired list. Yeah, you already ordered from it, I think, didn't you, Dina? <clears throat> Just a sec. Um, I'm very thankful. This is part of why I didn't get to it right away. Um, I had another, um, another demonstrator friend, um, she edited the, the list of all the French stuff wasn't in there and whatever, so, um, that just makes it easier to see and, um, <clears throat> um, then I got rid of a column and so it could fit better and be bigger words and whatever. So it was a good thing. So, um, so I don't know how many people are getting on today now. I think we might have quite a few less than we did on uh, Wednesday. That was just a really fun day. So um, I'm going to have to plan it again soon. Just maybe not quite so involved. Um, it's a lot. I ordered once, probably again soon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a lot on the list. And Carol is here. Hi, Carol. Um, okay, so I'm going to get started with, um, with stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to be using 
um, for this technique. Remember, I'm doing the mirror image technique. And the first one that I'm doing, I totally went against what we were talking about last night, Cheryl. Um, I was pulling out sets and I started um, working with sets a little bit and peeking at them and I couldn't find my Bonanza buddies and so I ignored them. And um, oh, Courtney's on. Hi, Courtney. I haven't seen you on my live before, or at least not in quite a while. And Cindy is on. Hi, Cindy. Um, so I'm doing a technique called mirror image <clears throat> and, um, I'm going to start with the stamp set, um, music from the heart. This is the one that I'm going to do for a mirror image. And, um, oh, you know what? Before I get started, I want to do my drawings. Let's get that out of the way so that I don't forget to do that. Um, so I have two randomizers set up today. I'm going to draw two names from each one. So one of them is, the first one that I'm going to do, is my list of names of people who, um, they, um, they, what did they do? They shared their pictures. They shared a picture of um, all the cards that they made with me on Wednesday with the um, with the double what what's it called double wonder class that we did. Um, so so for this one, um, whoever wins, I'm going to send them one of my cards. I'm starting my randomizer right now, um, and then the other list of cards. Um, Dina, you're one of them. Yay. Hi, Da. I'm glad you're here. It's a good thing because I'm doing your technique you asked for. Um, so congratulations, Da. You win my first card. Um, so this list, I'm sending it to the person who wins. My other list, which is the one who just shared my video rather than um, putting in... Um, good morning, Marlene. Rather than putting in... Um, Oh, rather than just putting them in my pictures, I am doing that list. I'm going to have you tell me who you want me to send it to. Somebody else. Ooh, Dawn Marie Snell won my second one. Yay! That's awesome that she got to be a winner. Um, and this is the first time. Well, maybe she watches other times, but this is the first time that I've seen her in a long time. I'm so glad, Dot. Um, so Dawn is Dot's daughter, and so Dawn gets one of my cards. So yay. Okay, so now I'm going to do my other randomizer. Now these two, this list is people who shared, and um, I will send it to somebody that you would like me to. Um, so I'm going to start this one now. Um, I need to write these down or I will totally forget, especially with having, having so many. Oh, Robin's another winner. Okay, so the first one is Dina and Dawn. Okay, so I'm sending to you. And the second one is Robin. And congratulations, Robin. I don't know if you're on yet, but congratulations. Pick another winner or pick another name and start. Um, so... Robin, you need to tell me, you're going to have to message me, tell me who you would like me to send it to, and obviously I'll need an address if I don't know this person. Um, my other winner is Marsha, woohoo! Um, so Marsha, you need to tell me who you would like me to send one to as well. So message me with your name and address, maybe how you know them, that sort of thing. That would be a cool thing. Okay, so now I'm going to get started. I'm going to put my comments back up. All right, I don't want to mess. Cool. Okay, I think I didn't miss any. <clears throat> sometimes they show up here and sometimes they don't. But they seem to be showing up here, so um, that's a good thing. So like I said, I'm doing the mirror image technique, and I'm starting with this stamp set, Music from the Heart. And... Um, so I'm going to put you down to do my stamping. And I can see your comments today, as long as I look up at my screen. Um, I can see your comments today. So um, feel free to comment and ask questions, and I'll do my best to respond. 
and I'll still come back um, afterwards when, at, when I edit, after I edit the video and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put you down. i got to do my thing. Hi, Linda, if I didn't say it already. I thought it, but sometimes I think things and don't say it. Okay, I'm on backwards, and now upside down so that you can see straight on. So here I am. Okay, so that needs to be out of the way. All right, so the first thing that I need here is this piece of white. So um, what you need to keep, this is a window sheet. You can't see it, but probably. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Um, uh, the first thing you need is a window sheet. This is how you do your mirror image. And I put a post-it note, hang a post-it note on here so that I can, um, um, the set is retiring, I didn't notice. Um, I'm surprised they only had it in there so short, especially since it's a million dollar one. Um, the, I put a post-it note on here because it's too easy to lose something clear like this on my desk. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, you need to keep in mind you need a window sheet and you need ink that is not stays on. <clears throat> I did try it with stays on to see if I was kidding myself, but I wasn't. Um, stays on dries too quickly and you need it not to dry. So you can do it with memento or if you still have black, um, what do you call it? Black. Mm, basic black, like the classic black. You can do that, or you can do colors that are um, classic. Um, okay, so I'm actually using this piano. Um, so you probably can see it because it's stained. So I'm going to ink this up um, on my memento. Sorry, I'm across the screen with my arm here but I need to hold it while I'm inking up. Okay, and I'm going to put my piano right here. All right, now I want to mirror this. So I don't know what in the world made me think of it. I was going through my sets, um, just trying to get some inspiration, find archival black, yeah. That works. Basic black, archival black. I'm like, Blay, what is that? <laughs> Don't mess me up, Carrie. I have a hard enough time while I'm while I'm trying to do my live here. So anyway, when I was looking through this, um, I thought of dueling pianos and I thought this would be a cool card. So I inked this up. You want to make sure it's nice and wet. Now when you put it down here, you need to be really careful because if you slide it, then um, it's gonna be smeary and we don't want that. Okay, so I put it on there carefully. Now I flip it over and press it down onto my cardstock and rub it. So I'm transferring the ink from the window sheet that I just stamped. Um, onto my cardstock. Look, I have dueling pianos. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, when you do this, the strength is never quite full. Where did I put it? Um, the, like this is just a little bit lighter than this. So I'm actually gonna take the time. I wasn't sure if this would work or not, but this is a nice bold line stamp. Um, so I can make this look okay. So I'm actually going to add some ink, um, from my marker to look, make it look a little more, um, clean and bold like my other stamp. Um, <clears throat> so sorry, this isn't exactly coloring, but it kind of is coloring, so... You know what happens when I color. I just get quiet. That's just what happens. So, um, so I'm just tracing the lines. Now, if this were a much finer stamp, it wouldn't really work. 
or certainly not as well, or not with my hand, I guess we should say. Um, not all these lines are um, complete, I guess we'll say. They, they don't all intersect each other. Sometimes there's just, it's kind of more of a sketch type stamp. So that's actually probably a good thing for this technique or me trying to um, make it look good like the other one because the other one's kind of splotchy a little bit too. So, um, hi Robin, I see you're on here too. And new idea, smear image. I've done that before, but not on, I haven't bothered with a, um, I haven't bothered with a transfer sheet or window sheet. I've done it. I like doing it with the car, with the um, the Camaro. Oh, is it Camaro? Mustang. Um, in the, what do you call it? Garage. Something garage. Um, so I started to say, and then I think I stopped. Robin, you are one of my winners. So you need to message me with somebody that you would like me to send this car to. Okay, so here's my dueling pianos. A little bit touched up. And... I'm going to, no, I don't need to. Um, hi, Sherry. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I have my comments up on my computer so I can see you even though I'm busy stamping. Um, does the clear sheet clean easily? Yes. Um, um, I always have rubbing alcohol on hand. Um, um, and it cleans easily like that even the stays on did on it excuse me okay so I love this keyboard um, so I'm gonna put this on here and then I have my happy birthday stamp hopefully I spaced it well so that it will fit hmm close enough all right so here is my dueling pianos um, okay that sounds good make sure Robin, morning, Kathy. Um, Robin, make sure you give me first and last name and address, please. Okay, so here's my thing. And now I'm going to get my card, the rest of my card base ready. Thank you for liking and sharing all, already. Okay, so I already did this. Um, I used the, I don't even know what it's called. Somebody else will have to help me. Um, the It's a swirly a swirly embossing folder with our black foil sheets. They're cool. So um, I have I only had pieces left of this, so that's why they're cut. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to put tear and tape on here because there's lots of texture here. And I, for some reason, I always think of black and red when I look at this stamp set. So, I'll press it on here easily. Alright, so I'm going to line this up with one edge. See, I'm going to cover this so I won't be able to see the cut line. Black foil sheets are retiring also. That's okay. I think they're cool, but I haven't used them a lot. Oh, I shortened this because I, I, um, it was too long and then I just, I didn't want to measure. Okay, so I have my pianos here and I'm going to put dimensionals on the back. I, I don't think I want them that close because I need to straddle my my center part. Does anybody know, does Grand Rapids still have, I feel like it was Tootsie Van Kelly's or something, but I, I never went there, but I know we had a place that had dueling pianos. Do you, do you know if it's still there? So here is my card. And then 
even though these aren't real red, this is real red cardstock. Um, I'm going to put these, these are actually lovely lipstick. Um, and I forgot to put these on while I was on video with the one of the last cards that I did. These are retiring. So here's my card. Simple but showing the technique. And I love the idea of the dueling pianos. It makes me happy. Okay. Now, the next oops. Before I before I get all where did my window sheet go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, before I get all involved, I'm going to clean this off so I don't forget. So, I'm doing this off screen because I don't want to get this all a mess, but I have this. Um, thank you. I'm glad that you like it, Cheryl and Dot. Um, uh, I always keep a bottle of rubbing alcohol for cleaning my blocks, like the whether it's the ink or the oils from your hands or whatever. So I always have this around. <laughs> it's, it's been um, helpful lately with, um, with the virus thing that we're trying to protect ourselves from too. Um, but this is perfect for cleaning stuff quick. So I'm just going to spray this on here quick, but not on my space. So I'm spraying quick and I will... Um, clean it off. See? No more piano. Okay. So. Thank you. I'm glad you like it too, Jamie. I didn't see you. Come on. Um, okay, so the next set that I'm going to use is Sailing Home. And this is a little bit more along the lines of what I typically use um, when I'm doing um, the mirror the mirror image technique. Um, and this one is going to take me a little bit of time. I told you I had an easy one. The dueling piano is the reason I went to Jamaica in March. Oh, cool. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Anyway, I, I'm not doing trees, but this is kind of what I think of when I, when I think of doing the mirror image. And um, I did an easy card, and now I'm going to do one that is going to take me a little bit. I usually don't do cards um, this involved, and you're going to be shocked. I have a minimum of four techniques that I'm using on this, and I've been teaching them to you for the past week. Um, and I'm so in love with this card. So anyway, I'm using Sailing Home. So... <clears throat> I don't need this anymore because I don't have a photopolymer set. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to stamp my, I'm using this, the smaller of the two sailboats. Is it Mojo's or Moho's? Um, and I have no idea where that is. Um, so I'm using the, the smaller of the two sailboats here. And I'm kind of, kind of stamping this in the middle of my piece of white cardstock right here. And Joe, Mojo's. Okay. Um, I'm using a blender pen just to blend in. We're going to make this boat kind of, this is Knight of Navy, by the way. I didn't tell you that. Um, I'm going to make this boat. It's going to be blue. Okay, so here's the start of my card, okay? So the next thing that I want to do is, I was practicing with my, with my dueling pianos here. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to build a wall here. Um, is this right? Yeah, we're going to do it right there. I'm going to build a wall here. I don't need those stamps anymore. Um, and I'm going to do some sponging. So, where did my sponge go? So, the f oh, I need to open up all, I need to open up my other pad a second. So, I have Night of Navy here and I have Balmy Blue. 
So have, I'm making a wall. Now I'm inking it up in Night of Navy, but I'm tapping it off before I put it on here because I don't want a big splotch all in one, one area. So I want it to be darker up at the top, but I'm kind of coming down a little bit on, on here too. That's how it's done, blending pen. Yeah, you don't even have to add color to do that. Okay, so I'm going right up to this edge and I'm specifically trying to, oops, I moved it. I'm specifically trying to go right up to this to make a hard edge here, okay? And then I'm smoothing it down here. Okay, so for now I'm done with that. Now I'm gonna do some balmy blue. I'm going to start at the bottom with the balmy blue. And move up with that. Okay, so here's my card so far. Now... I need to, I made a mask, so I'm doing masking, so I made a mask on, I was smart this time, and I used the sticky of my post-it note, <laughs> I stamped right on that, and I cut it out so I can put this right on my, right on my, um, what do you call it? My boat, my sailboat. Okay, now I'm using this wall again, but this time I'm going this way. Now, just so you know, just a, uh, the retiring balmy blue? Are you sure? That doesn't make any sense. Um, Balmy blue is one of the core colors. I haven't looked at that list very well, by the way. Um, okay, so something to mention to you for if you're doing this sort of thing. Um, so I did my Knight of Navy up here, um, and then I flipped it over. I could have just turned around, but I flipped it over, and I'm going to do some crushed curry here. And I flipped it, rather than doing it off the same edge, because the when I was first trying to do it, like when I was doing the crushed curry, I was pulling the blue into my crushed curry, and I didn't like that. Um, so my suggestion is to flip it or turn use a different edge or whatever, so you're not pulling that color. Okay. So I have crushed curry. Doing the same thing though, I'm not, um, I'm not, I still don't want a big splotch in one, in one spot, so I pounce it off a little bit. You definitely can want to come at this rather than just going off of it. Um, to try to avoid leaving a white line. Okay. I didn't have to do all this talking when I did this the first time. <laughs> I'm like, how am I going to do this on my live? I'm just sitting here sponging away. Okay, so I have crushed curry down. Now I'm doing reverse masking. Remember what reverse masking is? So now I'm using, this is a one inch circle punch. I'm using my post-it note again, sliding it in 
and punching a hole out of it. I think balmy blue is in the new catalog. I think you might get your blues mixed up or something, or you saw one product that was retiring in balmy blue. Like the blends, there are, the blends are being reconfigured. There's no more single, um, no more single blends. So you might have seen that. Okay, so a lot of ink on there, not going by the written list though. Well, I know that the old in colors are retiring. Okay, so as you can see, I think I'm gonna turn this around. I wanna make sure I'm not getting any, any ink where I don't want it to be. And I was kind of exposing something over here. Okay, so if you can't see this, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. So I have my hole is on the um, is is in the sky, but I want it a little bit across my masked sailboat. Okay, so now I'm using pumpkin pie. Hi Penny, I'm glad you're here. All right. So now I'm going to sponge in here. All right, so this is one. I want it to be pumpkin pie over the whole thing, but I definitely want one side to be a little bit darker just to give some, some interest, some, ooh, don't move it. Um, I, I just wanted part of it to be darker. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off. Ah, I'm loving it. Okay, so I have my sun here. And I'm going to add some more um, pumpkin pie just lightly. I, the voice that I used made me think of, oh, I forgot to pounce it off. Um, have you guys seen, oh, there's a commercial. It's a, it's for a certain company where they're like, just okay is not okay. And there's this guy who's supposed to be translating something from a different language. I'm going to say Chinese, but I'm not sure that it's Chinese. He's supposed to be translating something and he's doing a horrible job and saying that the guy wants a hug and whatever. And um, <laughs> the guy's all proud of himself translating. He goes, this is happening. <laughs> it's too funny and very awkward and uncomfortable and whatever. Okay, so I think I have my sponging the way that I want it. So I'm going to move my wall and move my mask here it is so far and I'm not done yet if you can believe it this makes me so happy I love this so much okay so I still have to do the the mirror image right so that's gonna be next so I have this here, I have my sailboat again, I'm stamping it on my window sheet. I'm lining up my water and like the front of my boat and I'm rubbing. Now see, this type of scene makes a little bit more sense to me because you end up with just a light 
image. It's just a reflection. It's not supposed to be full on, which is perfect for when you're showing a reflection in the water, in on snow. I've done that before, trees on snow, that sort of thing. So this is like perfect for this. Okay, so now what I want to do, so I did masking and reverse masking and mirror image, and I'm going to do one more thing. And sponging, I'm not really sure what we're calling the sponging. I don't know if there's a certain technique that this was or not. Um, but I'm going to, now I'm going to do omitting. I did not even try to do all these. It's just like what came to me when I was working on this project. Okay, so this is the lighthouse, okay? But what it has that I want is this the water here. So I'm using my Knight of Navy marker here on the side. <sighs> Breathing on it. And I want it here and here. I'm going to do it again. <sighs> and here and here. Here. We are so far. All right, and then <clears throat> there's one more thing that I want to add to the scene. So all these stamps are in this set, Sailing Home. Whoops, I need to cover my marker. That would be a problem. Where'd my stamp go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is basic gray. I didn't want a dark, full-on color, so I wanted basic gray. So we have these birds here, seagulls, whatever you want to call them. I'm putting some there. Stamping off a little bit and getting some here. Oops, off camera. There's my scene. All right, love this card. Lots of work, but so worth it. Yeah, see, this is the kind of card that I don't make often. I, this, I don't usually do this amount of sponging, this amount of work. I'm a stamp and go kind of girl. But <clears throat> Dot asked me special for this technique, so I decided that I would do it just for her. <laughs> just teasing. And all you guys, I know you'd want to see it too. Um... And I don't know, this is just where I went with it. Sometimes you just kind of go crazy. So now I need to finish out my card. So I'm going to put this on. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm glad that you love it. And Marilyn. Um, so I'm going to put this on Night of Navy. So I didn't do any coloring on the sails as you can see. I just kind of left it like that. And now I first was going to put this on crushed curry and it would have looked okay but it wasn't going to pop like this will. Look at how awesome that is. I love it. Okay. Um... And I almost left this card completely blank. I never do that. I don't just mean the inside, Cheryl. I mean the outside. I, I always feel like I need a saying on the front. And I almost left it blank because, like, it's perfection. And I'm not trying to brag. I'm just like, this is just a cool scene. I had to kind of look up how to do sunsets. I'm not sure that I got it <clears throat> realistic looking, but I like it. So... And it's not really a sunset even. It's full on sun. Um, but anyway, I found a stamp. Thank you. I'm glad that you girls like it. I found a stamp that is nice and fine. The font is fine and it's skinny. And it is from uh, Ornate Thanks. And it just says, for all you do. I love it. Okay, so I am done stamping. So I'm going to do my thing and pull you back up. 
upside down, backwards again, and here I am. I'm glad that you like it, except now my thing is down because I put it down a little bit. Sorry. I'm glad that you like it. Okay, so now you can see it better this way, I think. The color on camera is just not being as cool as it is in person. It's like a deep, it's deep color. That's washed out, let's see. Oh, that's better color. There's that one. <laughs> I'm glad you love it. Thanks for the love. Okay, and then the other one that I did, much simpler, but I love the concept of the dueling pianos. So there you go. Let's see, did I, I have a, my other one was stamped better, but I don't know where it went. I didn't get the happy birthday off. I don't know what happened here with the happy birthday. All right. So that is all my stamping for today. And much shorter than the two hour class that we had the other day. <laughs> that was really fun though. I, I, I enjoyed it. I'm glad that um, so many people were on and were having fun too. Um, so that's all that I have. Um, Oh, there's something that I wanted to mention. I knew that there was something, and I just want to um, to tell you. Um, the I had a lot of people. Sorry, did she knows? I had a lot of people who could not get the bees dyes um, when they ordered the bundle in March. I think maybe even February, and. Um, uh, I just saw that they are retiring, um, so you need to get them now because they could go very quickly. Um, I have host codes set up for clubs through, um, I think I have a club the third week in May, the 18th or 19th or something like that. I have clubs dates set up, or host codes set up through that. If you don't have the bee dies and you want the bee dies, you're gonna gonna want to do that right now. Um, so anyway, just telling you that. <laughs> okay, I think that's all that I have. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for hanging with me. And I can't think of more that I need to tell you. So. Um, I was real surprised about some things. Yeah, I was really surprised about the bees. I can't believe it. Especially, especially because we have a um, we have a new in color that's called bumblebee. So <laughs> I thought for sure that um, or yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, yes. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. Have a great weekend. Oh, one last reminder. Um, I think I did put it in my thing. I, I'm not doing a live on Monday because I have a club Monday morning. So the next time I will be doing a live will be Wednesday. And I think I'm going to be doing um, uh, the paper pumpkin and probably some alternate. I don't know if I'll stamp the alternates or just show the alternates um, that day also. So I won't see you again until Wednesday, and I will do my live drawing um, on Wednesday also. So if you share, um, then I will um, draw names then, just like today. So have a great day and a great weekend. Huh. Bye.